Hey yo, how's it going guys? Uh, this is not an episode, uh, but it might be put in one. Uh, I'm doing the ancient parts glitch, and as you can see, I am way over here. As Deval Peak, I have my travel medallion over here. I flew over here right after the last episode. And uh, what you do is you take this ruined guardian that's in this water over here, and you flip him over. There's a couple of these in the world. When you flip them over, they give you ancient parts. It's random. They have a little drop table like most things. And uh, once you see, I, I made a save over here, and once you see the parts that you want to see, I saw one of everything except for, except for the core, which is very, very rare. And uh, once you see the things you want, then you're going to grab something metal, and you can push it with the infinite mass bug with magnesis anything metal will do uh, and then we are going to go into the get out of my way lose I'll push you're not supposed to be able to push this it should be only me stop it stop pushing this okay. now we'll go down here if it gets too far away from me it's gonna despawn so I need to make sure that I move about its speed wonderful anyways I just wanted to show y'all a clip of this and I will probably start recording again oh, come on. No, 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 no. Hey, you. Welcome back to Goo Bullies in an Animate Object. Ooh, trying to get a better view. We're getting pretty close to where we need to go. And uh, I thought I'd let y'all join me for the rest of the push. Uh, as you can see, we pushed it very far because we started north of this travel medallion. We're going about to where this red pin is. Uh, and once we get there, the, the fountain begins. And then I get to start the tedious process of pressing A a million times. But I thought, uh, I thought while I go here, I'd kind of explain this for the people who have seen this glitch and for the people who are about to see it for the first time, because a lot of people know about it now, but not a lot of people know how to explain it. And mine is going to be speculation, but it's speculation from a programming perspective. Uh, what you're going to see here in a minute is the bottom of these, which I wish I had recorded flipping this over. So when you find these, they're sitting right side up. And you can use Cryonis, because they're in water, to flip them over. And when you do, they spawn a couple parts from their spawn table. And like I said, you can reload the save and try again to get a, a different grouping of spawns. But it will only spawn that one set, and it won't respawn. Like, you can't do it again until, I believe, after a Blood Moon. It might be earlier than that. It might be just like a day in game or something. Uh... And so, if you know anything about programming, you know there's something called like classes and containers, and basically there's there's structures in place in code to where this part gets kind of tedious because I'm going up a hill, and the sand physics are kind of annoying for this too. It might actually be better that it spun around. Um, ooh, wait, did it start? Is it lagging already? Maybe it started. Oh, it did. Okay, so that lag uh, was a pretty good indication that this thing had started spilling out. Uh, so I'm probably not going to record much more for this because, as you can see, it becomes very laggy. And uh, I should probably try to flip it over. Because if I can flip it upright, it makes it a lot easier for collection. Yeah, this it's going to get really framey, so you're just going to have to bear with me right now. Um, oof. So what's happening right now is... Uh, People understand like the distance which it takes to spawn this thing now, to get this thing to flow like this, but not a lot of people understand why. And uh, it's because I believe the ruined guardian thing is a class, and classes can hold functions. And what this thing has is a if flipped, and if it's flipped over, it checks to see has I have I spawned these ancient items and if I haven't do it okay I grabbed the shield that's not what I wanted to grab in fact that's actually pretty bad because now I'm, I can't really push this because uh, there's a problem okay let's see if I can there's a way I did this the first time where I got on it I wanted to flip it upright so I could get on it I, I really shouldn't have picked up the shield um because the cobble crusher isn't metal I don't think a problem yeah there's a there's a high chance that okay it is metal wonderful 
there's a high chance that if I open my menu, the game will crash, and I, I don't want that, because then I have to do this all over again from start. I want to push it. I want to flip it. Please flip. Turning it might be useful too. So it's just looking up the hill. As you can see, like the spawn is like lagging behind where this thing actually is. All right. So this thing has a check variable that says, "Have I spawned these items?" And if no, spawn them. But as soon as it spawns them, it checks that flag to yes. And so it will never spawn them again until the blood moon resets it or whatever resets it resets it. It takes a while. When you push these things this far away from their original home, it like, I imagine that it deletes the, the uh, containing class. And it doesn't want to know what to do because it knows this object exists, So, but it doesn't have the variables within it. Um, there, there's a couple ways this can go, actually. Basically, the sum of it, I know I know the end result. The end result is that flag is not being flipped to true. Like, it, it doesn't think it spawned the items, and therefore it's just spawning a crazy amount like this. Oh my gosh, it's, it's pushing back because of how many things it's spawning. Because they all have physical properties, which is why I'm having a hard time jumping on it. Okay, this is where I, this is where I wanted to be. Because it's a lot easier to grab them, like, right when they spawn but I kind of have to, like, run as I do it. If I can flip this thing upright, it's a lot easier because then I just stand on top of it. Alright, so you're just going to hear me mashing the A button. And if I can get this right, I'll, I'll like, stay running. Okay. Alright, and once you hit 999, uh, it just stops picking up that item, so it makes it a little bit easier to get the other ones. Yeah, so what's happening is that variable is never being set to true. Either that or it's being set to true and immediately being set to false because you're so far away from its spawn. And it's just the mechanics of how the game works. But there's a... I know it, on the back end that there's a check flag that checks to see if this thing has spawned items and that flag is being reset immediately. And so every frame it's throwing out a new set of items. And it's already determined the pool of items from when we first flipped it. So it's going to keep spawning all of those over and over and over. And this one's probably causing more lag because I got four drops. But they were four different drops and I wanted all of those items. So I wanted to do it with this. Anyways, I hope that kind of explains it. Uh, I was rambling a little bit and trying to organize this as I did it. So I don't know if I got it across really well. But basically, this, uh, this poor baby ruined guardian is too far away from home. And it forgot that it has thrown out items, so it's just going to continue spewing them uh, forever. Except, the one way to fix this, because even if I push it back within its boundaries, oh, I'm dying to the heat. Even if I push it back within its boundaries in the map, uh, it will still spew items. The only way to fix it, and I have to do this at the end of this, which you probably won't see on camera, is uh, to flip it back right side up. Um, and I know that a lot of people are very wary because as you can see I just opened my menu you can do it it's just dangerous because that could have crashed my game but if I didn't I'd be losing health this whole time and I don't want to deal with that either um, so probably if you do this desert one be prepared before you go there's some in Hyrule Field but they're around a lot of uh, guardian stalkers and so it's not really it's it's harder to do it there unless you have a bunch of ancient arrows to take care of them. Which, after you do this, you can get ancient arrows super easy because you have all the supplies. I'm back in the middle of this. Uh, I thought of a few more things I could say uh, that I didn't mention as far as the glitch goes. And I have to wait for it to become night because I, I learned some new things. Um, one thing that I, I know that, like I mentioned, people are afraid to open the menu because it can crash your game. Um, and you saw me do it. Uh, and I wasn't super worried. So what's happening there is uh, the game can only load so many things at once. It's going to crash the game because it's out of memory. And so when I opened it, uh, as you noticed, I, I put that off camera. The game still knows they're there and it's still lagging, but it's a little bit less because it doesn't have to actually load the images of all of these items that are constantly spawning. 
The other thing that I didn't mention is, as you can see, they're disappearing before they hit the ground. The game has an item cap. It can only have so many items out at once. And because these are spawning so quickly, they're instantly despawning as well. Uh, and so that that's why you see this kind of fountain look where they're they're coming into existence and then instantly fading out and they almost like don't look like real items. Uh, also, just not related to glitch mechanics, but why that's over there in the sun. My shade started moving. I pushed it over here to the shade and I tried to push it back, but because those those items kind of work as a propellant, if I push on it at all, they're just going to push it further into the sun. One thing that I learned, uh, as you can see, I'm holding my flame sword, a flame blade. I tried to set a fire so that I could go to night, uh, and I had to pause to get out wood, and it took a little risk. I actually, I saved because I picked up a lot of items, and I didn't, at least now if it crashes, I'll, I'll have something to show for it. It won't just be like I lost all my progress. I didn't see how many I picked up of each, but I know that I'm probably not even halfway, because it's been slow going. Um... Yeah, so I, I got wood out, I got my flame blade, I set the wood down, and I tried to strike it. And because there's so many items spawned, it literally won't change the wood into a fire. Like, I hit it until the flame blade ran out of energy. And then again some, and it just stayed wood. And the wood was fine, I could pick it back up, I did. But I couldn't create a fire because the game is loading so much at once that it just it can't comprehend doing that as well that probably would have crashed the game so i'm i'm kind of glad it didn't but again i had saved so it's not the end of the world if the bug ends i'll just have a little bit less items and i mean this is over 999 is overkill but it basically takes care of your your rupees for the rest of the game and then you can get ancient arrows and the ancient armor and all kinds of stuff Ooh, man this leg probably take that off screen I think it also makes time run slower because it looks like it's going very slow right now. Um, because, like, the, the timer in-game is attached to the in-game clock, which includes the cycle for spawning items. So when the cycle for spawning items takes longer, everything takes longer. Uh, the more you know about gaming. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to add those few thoughts I had. And then I will get back to you towards the end of this, I guess. Or maybe after I'm done. I don't know if... I'm, oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. Uh, technically, I don't have to flip this thing back up right, which is a huge pain. I know I've seen some YouTubers uh, really wary about that as well for game crashing because they're like, oh, if I don't flip it back over, it's still spawning items. If I go far enough away from this Ruined Guardian, the Ruined Guardian will despawn. If there's no Ruined Guardian, it can't spit out items because that function is tied to that entity. So if the entity doesn't exist, the items don't exist. And I know that's a little wonky to say, considering that, like I was saying, that the, the check variable is tied to this. So if that exists, then the check variable should exist. But it's all in the nature of the code and how they structured it. And this bug, I think, is an oversight. Um, but yeah, so after this is done, I'll probably just run away from it, warp once I get far enough away and then it will for sure be gone and then I can open the menu with no issues and no worries save and load as I please and we'll be all the richer for it all right I think that's all I wanted to share and I really do need to stop looking at that so time will go by since I can't st start a fire I just kinda have to wait here uh, I think this might be the last clip of this we'll see but if it is like comment and subscribe I said it in the last segment I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut it out but this will be a separate video from the next episode, and if you want to see more content that's like this, um, let me know. And uh, we'll do more of these because I think it's fun to explain from a programmer's perspective how bugs and glitches come to be. Alright, last cut for sure, but I wanted to show you all this too. Uh, so I, I finally got up here how I wanted to be. If you tilt this thing back a little bit, you can actually squat right here without falling off. And uh, I'm grabbing most of the items. The only thing that I'm not grabbing is the ancient gear, which is spawning, because uh, it spawns kind of in the middle underneath all the other items. So it'll be a little bit harder to grab that, but I can max out the spring shafts and and uh, screws from sitting up here without too much trouble. Uh, it's a lot easier than trying to get it while running alongside of it and a lot less effort. Um, so if you do this glitch, uh, basically you just need to tilt it back a little bit. Uh, so if you... What I, what I would recommend is uh, 
several people push this thing with a chest and that's the best way to do it because if you push with a metal like chest or crate or whatever then you can place that underneath the fountain of items and just stand on top of it and grab everything easily but if you push it with a shield or a weapon like I did uh, you can use a small hill to do this uh, best case scenario is you flip it up on its head which is just it's a pain once it starts spewing just because of how the items sh like move it but if you can get it up on its head then you can climb up on top of it and then it's all shooting upwards and you can just stand next to it and grab it and it's not really any problem because it shouldn't fall over since it's propelling itself into the ground uh, but yeah all right this should be the last cut i don't think i have anything else to say uh, besides have a good day i hope y'all enjoyed this content and again if you liked it uh, let me know because i'd love to do more stuff like this in the future uh, it's really interesting to me and i hope it's interesting to y'all catch you later bye